Insurance landscape is in turmoil with many people saying insurance rates are now unaffordable and others are dealing with unpaid claims. Sabrina Wilson talked one on one with incoming insurance commissioner Tim Temple about the insurance crisis and whether he'll allow insurers to raise rates whenever they want. As Louisiana remains in the grips of a stubborn insurance crisis, a new insurance commissioner takes over in January. I'm fired up, charged up, and I'm, I'm ready to hit the ground running. Republican Tim Temple won the race before Election Day after the only other candidate, a Democrat, dropped out. Were you surprised um, to win by default? I was. Longtime Insurance Commissioner Jim Donilon isn't seeking re-election. I'm not going to wait until January 8th when I officially take office to start working to, to help address the crisis we've got. Temple's been talking to insurers, state lawmakers, candidates for Louisiana governor and others. You know, insurance companies are telling me that they can price for weather. You know, we may not sometimes like the pricing, but that they can price for. What they can't price for or what they, we also get dinged for is an unfriendly regulatory environment you know, an unfriendly legal environment. He wants the legislature to go into a special session soon after he's sworn in. The changes that we're going to make to attract insurance companies from the, from the, the legislative side, the, the part that I can't control, we've got to do those as quickly as possible. And insurance companies are not going to come in and start writing new policies in the middle of a hurricane season. But on a special session agenda. I'm not rushing to failure. We're not going to throw out a plan just to have a plan. It's going to be something that, that people, that, that we as a group believe will move, move the needle forward. But certainly you have some ideas, um, I'm sure, right now of what you think should be on the agenda. Just trying to get a glimpse well, of that. Well, like I said, I, I'm not going to ask everybody to take a, uh, ask anybody to take a bite of a half-baked cake. You know, I, I'm, we're, gonna, we're in the process of formulating this. After Hurricanes Laura and Ida, insurance premiums soared for many people. Would you favor allowing insurers to raise rates more than once a year? The law says that an insurance company can go and seek rate relief, rate change, uh, as often as they want, as long as it's actuarially justified, that it's not excessive, that it's rate adequate, and it doesn't discriminate. So the law says you can do that as often as you want. The current administration says you can only do it once every 12 months. What will the Tim Temple administration say about that? We'll follow the law. This year, Louisiana doled out millions in grants to entice insurers to write more wind and hail policies, but residents and insurance agents say finding coverage in some areas remains a challenge. What do you think would or could be fair in terms of less regulation? You said that you're hearing from insurers who would like less regulation. Well, it's just a more friendly regulatory environment. But you're not saying you're in favor of letting insurance companies do whatever they want. Um, you can't to. be, no. I mean, as a regulator, again, you, if you're an insurance company and you come and operate in the state of Louisiana, you've got the same laws to follow that other companies do. And part of that is making sure that you've got proper insurance, proper or proper reinsurance, you've got the financial resources, and when people have legitimate claims, you adjust it quickly and accurately. A new law that took effect August 1st says the Commissioner of Administration shall not disapprove a rate filing that is in compliance with other sections of the law on the basis of time that has elapsed since the most recent rate approval by the Commissioner. Meanwhile, Commissioner Jim Donilon's office tells me that as, as of July 31st, approximately 28,600 policies were written through the incentive program. Lee.